Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Sorry, I'm recording on my GoPro. This is my first time I'm using it and um, like as a YouTube video and the lighting is terrible because um, I'm in my hotel room. So we're just gonna... So welcome to the video. We haven't talked in a long time. You don't know that but it's been a long time. I don't know if I look any different or seem any different but it's been a month since we arrived. Well, we got to Canada. Now we've been in America ever since like in the States which has been really cool. We've been on holiday, yeah, for literally a month, but we've been having so much fun. We flew with Qantas from basically direct. We went Adelaide to Sydney, then Sydney to Vancouver. So Sydney to Vancouver is the huge flight. That was like 14 hours, and then Adelaide to Sydney is two hours. I got like 10, our flight was at like 12 p.m., got to Sydney, and then our later flight wasn't until about eight, but just due to like, you know, airport delays and everything, we ended up only having like probably two hours just chilling out waiting for our flight which is kind of good we just went on our laptops and i caught up on some youtube and that kind of thing yeah about eight o'clock when our flight departed from sydney to vancouver i think the start of it i just tried to have like a couple of drinks to kind of settle myself my plan was to just try and sleep as much as i could i ended up and then i was gonna you know read i was like yeah i'll read and i'll do all these activities but actually i slept for a solid like six hours or maybe longer for another four hours i was like on and off sleeping i just couldn't keep my eyes open i wasn't like fast asleep but i was just like just chilling we bought these awesome neck pillows and yeah it was great i probably woke up properly you know two hours before the flight was finished and just yeah i felt very groggy um which kind of sucked and we had to wear miles the whole time feeling quite good i kind of like refreshed myself because i knew that we'd be going to customs and immigration i knew it would probably be like a bit of a long haul as well we landed in vancouver around 5 p.m ish the saturday the same day because we go back in time right and uh, we're well, not back in time but you know what i mean and then we landed and it took ages to get off the plane so we were right near the back and then by the time we got to customs, it was like this humongous line of, because everyone has to go through customs, right? So just a massive line, which is like, again, I'm like, you know, it's fine. It was kind of draining because we were just bugged. We got to the little customs machine. We just checked in, like they took a photo, you do your passport. This is just all on a machine. Said how long we're staying in Vancouver, which is only a couple of days because we were going to America. And then we were said we were there for work. We got a little printout. We wait for a customs officer. We showed him our thing. It was barely nothing. He just said, go to immigration. Started lining up with all our bags. And the lady, like, just, she wasn't going off, but she was quite aggressive. She's just like, can't have your bags over here. Where, where? So we went and put our bags in this huge, just pile of suitcases, which felt really weird, just like leaving them because they were pretty far away. And then we came back in line. She's telling us what we need. Kind of aggressive again. She's like, get this and get this blah, blah, blah. and I was like okay I knew that you were gonna be mean but like please calm down I think I showed her one thing she's like I don't need to see that I need like I think it was our POE and maybe our passport or something she only needed like two things and she's like and then she said get those ready so that like sh when you go to the officer you're ready to go for him she was setting us up for the next guy right yeah so we went to the line then there was some seats and then a room. We waited in line, sitting down for maybe say 10 minutes or 15 minutes. She said, oh, you know, there's an hour wait in there. I'm like, I'm confused. We're already sitting down waiting. Like anyway, so we go in there and as soon as you enter the room, there was a, an officer. I think he asked us about Canada and I said that, yep, we're working in Whistler. I was like extremely nervous and I didn't want to like, you know, I just wanted to be super polite and clear and not like over talk. Um, Stefan made a joke and I'm just like, don't make jokes. Just took our passport and our poe sat it in like a little folder thing and then told us to go wait i think we got a number as well and in that room was probably at least like 50 people and yeah they were all getting called up there was a few officers probably like in little desks maybe like four or so there was a few of them it wasn't a really nice atmosphere in there it's quite you're kind of nervous like you're just sitting there waiting but i had a feeling that as would be fine because I'd read stories recently of them saying they just basically give you your work permit. But I just knew that I had to make sure that when he hands us our work permit, it says open work permit so that we can work anywhere. And then that is two years because they have a lot of issues like they give you one year sometimes because some places only get one year. So those, those are my two things in my head. Um, probably after maybe half an hour or so, it didn't feel like a long, long time. It felt like a little bit of a long time, especially after a 14 hour flight. Um, they called us up 
and handed us our work permits. I checked it and yeah, that was it. I thought I would feel more ecstatic, but I didn't really because I was just tired. So we put those in my folders because we had folders of stuff which I'll talk to you about after. We grabbed our bags. We were like, cool, we're out of here, right? So we still had that little um, first print off form, the customs form from like that machine in the beginning. So as we were leaving, we had to show that on the way out. But there was so many people. It was very casual. Everyone was just walking out. So we're like, because this is back with all the normal people, right? Walking out of the airport, everything's fine. I hand her my paper and she's like, yeah, you got to go over there to this other room. And I was like, okay, this is weird because no one else was getting called over. Just us. And I was like, okay, this is how weird. And I haven't read anything about this. So I don't know what's going on. So we follow where she said, there's a lineup of probably only like four people this time. We get into a room and there's, yeah, still a couple of people in line. There's only one officer. There's one police officer talking to some lady. Don't know what that was about. And then there's like a bunch of chairs with two people sitting there. And I overheard someone say to them that they've like, they'll get on the next flight. So they obviously miss, have missed their flight due to being in this room. So at this point, I'm just like, I don't know what's going on. These people are missing flights. No one's told us what to do. There's a police officer here. And it was very like, very scary. And I was like, man, I hope we're not like getting deported or something. Cause like, this is where this shit happens, right? Get called over, how much cash are you carrying? And I was like, a couple hundred dollars. Have you got any food on you? And I was like, no. And then he was like, okay. And we're like, okay, we can go. He's like, yeah, you can go. So I got the fuck out of there as soon as I could. Caught the sky train into the city, which was like very straightforward. Just like walked out of the airport and then bought some tickets, waited for the train. The train took like, it was a fair while, maybe like 20 minutes. And then we walked to our hotel room and we went the wrong way twice. We went on the maps and like started walking, look on the maps and like wrong way. So then Sam was like, oh yeah, this way. Start walking again, wrong way again. I was like, oh my God, we were so hungry, so tired. I know that it was never gonna be like a super positive experience, but yeah, that <laughs> at the time that was like the hardest thing. Now I'm just like, that, that was easy. Um, but yeah, I'm very grateful to be let into the country. So I don't think I even looked at you the whole time. I was like in my brain tips on all the stuff that I brought and what you need to bring maybe in a separate one, depending on how long this goes for. But yeah, that's my arrival experience. And I hope that it might not be exactly how yours goes, but I think, you know, it's nice to hear other people's experience. And for me, when I was like preparing to go, I just wanted to read as much as possible because it's just the little things just calm my mind and anything that can help me feel more calm in these situations is like the best, especially when you're going through airports and like everything. So yeah, that's my arrival experience. I hope you enjoy the video. If you want to know more about getting my IEC, I'll link the, uh, I'll, it'll come on now. So yeah. All right. Goodbye.